Okay. That hole's perfect. So I got this bag of lion's mane inoculated dowels um, from Amazon at Christmas. So hopefully this is all still good because it is now the middle of May and I haven't used it yet. It still smells mushroomy, but who knows. Um, so my husband has pre-drilled the holes. Um, he picked the correct drill bit size for these dowels. Um, and we've got quite a few in here probably 25 it'll focus at least 25 so anyway I'm just hammering them in now this tree we call grandpa tree grandpa tree is really old and really almost dead <laughs> so as you can see this tree is gonna come down soon anyway in the next few years because this whole side is just rotten so I thought this was a good candidate for um, my lion's mane um, incubator, I guess. Um, I thought about um, putting these into pieces of uh, cut firewood, um, but I was like, you know, let me just put it in a tree. That way I don't have stacks of wood sitting somewhere, you know, for snakes and other things to crawl up in and around. This tree's in a, grandpa tree here is in kind of a shaded area. He's kind of shading himself. <laughs> Um, sorry, I almost fell down. Um, and since we're going to be getting rain for the next few days, these dowels are going to get really moist. They're going to be in the shade. It's going to be nice and warm. And hopefully we will get some lion's mane mushrooms. Because I tell you what, I saw one at HEB and it was about the size of my fist. And they wanted $45 for that sucker. So if I can grow my own lion's mane with a... $13 bag from Amazon that'd be awesome because I've seen some really great recipes on Instagram where they're making like lion's mane steaks lion's mane like chopped barbecue beef sandwiches so it's a little bit exciting yeah and maybe I could sell some too since they're so darn expensive we could use the extra money so anyway so I'm gonna keep pounding these in and then uh, as soon as I see something happening <laughs> I'll do an update all right guys, thanks for watching. Totally forgot to mention that Lion's Mane likes to grow on hardwood and uh, Grandpa here is an oak tree. So, and the wood's pretty, it's pretty hard still for as for as bad as he looks. This is uh, like, like this is solid. So he's not crumbling yet. So, I mean, I think this is a good send off for the end of his life is to use him to grow lion's mane. Also, lion's mane is good for memory. Like you can buy pills and stuff, or uh, uh, supplements on Amazon that are good for memory and for your brain and Alzheimer's even. I think you can get coffee with lion's mane in it, like that Four Sigmatic coffee. I mean, just cross all your fingers and toes, folks, that I can get this tree well inoculated with some lion's mane. It's kind of a fun experiment, so. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.